Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing an unboxing of this Bigfoot sluice. So I already took it out of the box. Uh, the box was huge. So I had to do that so I could burn it in my backyard. Uh, in the box came two stickers, which they're both already on the sluice on each side. So the Bigfoot sluice, and in the Bigfoot sluice, it has the dream map. I'm very excited about this. Also in the box came a little bit of information. and your instructions of caring for your dream mat. Um, getting the most out of your new sluice dream mat. So that's good, it came with some instructions. Now, this one cost, I believe it was $158 off of Amazon and this one is, I believe, 10 inches wide, and the length was 35 inches. Now, there were some negative reviews on a certain piece of this. Uh, obviously, the Dream Mat is a tried and true mat, and many prospectors all around the world prefer using the actual dream mat because of its abilities to work through materials very fast and really just catch the gold within the first few inches and very little um, loss of gold, very little. So I went with a longer one so that I could have less of a chance since around my area is really really fine micro specs of gold so let me show you a different view of it okay so it has this nice uh opening here where you can you put the material down um, when it's on the river you want it to be angled slightly downwards i believe it's a uh six or seven percent uh angle down um, and, uh, so you put your material here, it works its way down, it hits the, the dream mat cyclones and will go around and get trapped in the little holes, which I'll, I'll take other angles of this so you can, uh, video angles so you could see it. Now, the one thing that people have said about the construction of this is these screws that hold the clamp down to hold the dream mat need to be glued on because otherwise these bolts just move around like they're they're not secured so let me show you So this clamp comes off and that way you can just take your dream mat out and then you roll it up and put it in your pan the opposite way and get all the gold and other material out. So these screws, these screws will keep moving and spinning and spinning and spinning. So what I'm gonna do, just like uh, people have suggested, I'm gonna get some uh, maybe Gorilla Glue or something and glue it down so that when I'm taking the mat out and putting it back in, these wing nuts don't end up just spinning and spinning and spinning like it's doing right now. It's not, it's not actually tightening, it's just spinning the screw. So I am gonna super glue that or use Gorilla Glue or something in order to 
get that pretty good. With the top here, I may add a uh, little V kind of indicator mat so that I know instantly if I'm on the gold. Uh, it's not necessary because with these dream mats, you can pretty much see the gold that's in there. So, but it's a really fast process to put this back in. Um, you do have to clean the mat off before you use it. I could feel there's a film on here from the uh, molding process when they made this mat. And it does say in here that you need to clean it off with soap and warm water. So I will be doing that before I bring it out to use it. Um, the other part is they did not deburr this very well. So it's very sharp. So I am going to be going around the whole thing. Some points it is still sharp. So if you don't want to cut your fingers up, I suggest get a file and just quickly and lightly go over it, get all of these sharp edges off of it. So reinstalling it, you put the dream mat in, line up the screws. It cinches down the mat against there so that it does not come apart. And again, it's See, if this was secured, then I would be able to just, there you go, spin it on and don't risk losing the bolts, the wing nuts or the bolts. So here we go. And see, it's just spinning now. Okay, it caught, wait, no, spinning again. So you do have to hold it. It'd be easier to just hold it from the bottom. But yeah, <clears throat> overall, I've heard so many great things about the Dream Map. Uh, prospectors all around the world save up the money to purchase the Dream Map. So I, I'm just, I'm excited to be able to try and use this. I do have another sluice, which um, I do have an unboxing video of that. That sluice works dreams. Um, so if you're in the market for another, a different sluice is more of a hyper concentrator. So you, you can use it in the river and you will find gold with it. Well, you will recover gold from your, uh, your material. It works amazing. And when you come back at the end of your trip, it's again, a hyper concentrator and very little material at the end. So you bring it home and you, you run it and very little material, you keep your gold. I love that sluice. Um, so again, there is another video of that sluice. Uh, and, but I wanted to be able to get a different sluice and see how the dream mat actually works since I've heard so many great things about it. So yeah, again, this was off of Amazon. I believe this one was 158. Um, and I believe it was plush shipping as well. Uh, they have different sizes. There are cheaper ones. There's more expensive ones. Uh, they have a different size of the uh, dream mat little cyclones. Um, they have larger ones, smaller ones. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, for any use, you could find one. And again, the company is Bigfoot Sluice. Let me uh, take some footage of all over this so that you guys can get a good picture of it.
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing of this Bigfoot sluice with the dream mat in it. And make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. And turn on the bell notification. That way you can be notified whenever I post videos. Thank you guys again for watching.